It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. And the NLT, a gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders after. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole luck. Coming into you with another quick lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. And this lesson was actually sparked through the spirit as we, you know, encountered, you know, uh, a Jake. That was in his feelings last night when he came up to the camp. And if you watch the camp video, um, you know, it was later, it was later, you know, la la the latter in the video where you had a Jake, a Jake came up and was trying to question our faith, you know, as he kept continuing to say, why do you believe in this book? Why do you believe in the Bible? The Bible is man-made and all these different things, okay? And he's confused behind his unbelief and all this the false doctrine that was put all out here in the world, you know, and he wanted us. It, it was almost to the point where he, it was like he was actually mad that we were believers of the faith. OK, and he was asking questions like what makes us believe when we continue to say the sure word of prophecy. OK, and it's, and it's the Lord that put it on our spirit. The, uh, the Holy Spirit was put on us to actually believe the words that's inside this book. That's why the scripture say in the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None shall fail. What? What's not going to fail? The prophecies. None shall want her mates. Right? We don't need another book to be made with the scriptures. The scriptures can stand on its own. Right? So this is the book we're seeking out of to get our wisdom, to get our knowledge, to get our understanding from, to get our, our correction or our instructions in a way of life from which is the holy scriptures okay so now that i got that out the way you know doing this lesson to the point of israelite chapter you got to understand that the times that we're dealing with or the times that we're in and the people that we're dealing with the people whom we whom we may encounter because we're going to encounter more unbelievers but the scriptures also say what convince the gainsayer you know and that's one of the things before he left, even though he was, uh, you know, a little intoxicated, he said, look, I'm going to come back. Whether if you do, whether he, whether if you do or not, hey, that's up to the Lord. And he says, I want to listen because I want to see, you know, y'all might be able to convert me. You know, and like it all goes back to the Lord. But the point of this lesson is, and I'm going to get I'm going to get to where I'm really speaking of is you got to understand of whom the people were dealing with and you deal with them accordingly. All right. Just because a, a guy might, you know, he, he might get a belligerent. OK, get his feelings, get all angry and you know, hostile. We still must show ourselves to say, you know what? Let me deal with this issue in this type of manner. Or let me deal with this issue in that type of manner. Not, let me not try to get rowdy, rowdy, about it, about it. You know, just because he's rowdy, rowdy, about it, about it. You know, and I remember years ago, years ago, right? You know, Thawada Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, years ago, uh, and this is when the Elder the Zakba was still down here, and uh, we encountered this, uh, this, you know, this guy was being a demon, you know, and he got mad because I said, uh, what did I say? I think I said, like, fuck Africa or something. I mean, his spirit changed. He was ready to fight. I mean, he got close to me and near me and everything. Like, you could see, you seen the aggression and the demons on him when I said that. You know, he didn't, and it it, it just threw him through a loop. Now, you got to remember, Jake believed that Africa's the motherland, the homeland. You know, they lost. They don't understand that, you know, our the homeland is Jerusalem and where were we before we got to the shores of West Africa and different parts, you know, we uh, was, was scattered into or ran into. You know, so when I said that, he was highly offended and he was ready to try to, from his, his looks and his aggression and his demeanor, he was ready to try to knock my head off. And, you know, he's kind of big swole guy working out and stuff like that. But what I said to him, it just it rubbed him so much in the wrong way where he was ready to scrap. I mean, he came almost, what, two, three feet close to me? And then he, he started asking me some more questions. But what did I do? I used the spirit. Okay? I used wisdom. 
and I used a soft answer for my next questions question and it calmed him down. It calmed him down, calmed him down. You know, and then when we start seeing him, uh, I think like the week after there, we used to see him a lot a week after, and then a week after that, we used to see him see him. He came up, you know, gave us a pound or dapped us up or something like that, and kept it moving. Or when he was walking past, he would like do his head nod or his like little wave or something like, you know, just to say, oh, what up, y'all? You know, something, something to that effect he did. Okay. But at that very moment, at that time, if I would have responded to him in his, his uh, if I would have offended him anymore, right? I could have put myself in a position to be what? To get into a brawl with this individual. But I used a soft answer. I used the wisdom of, okay, let me let me check him. Okay, this is how I'm, I'm going to do this. And it worked through the spirit and power of your Habash Shemel Shah. So this is what brothers got to start getting more into through the spirit. You know, just exhortation and, and uh, you know, uh, giving, uh, you know, just, just giving out of things that brothers should be mindful of. Okay, now there's certain times where, you know, uh, it, it, it do get kind of, uh, chippy, you know, you know how Jake be, okay. But like I said, every everything is 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 always different scenarios. But our main thing is try to be uh, peaceable, you know what I'm saying, as possible. Which we already exhort, because it really be Jake on the bullshit, you know. And I'm talking about as far as Great Millstone, we already be beyond that, you know. Try to deal and have dialogue and be as men and understanding and this and that a lot of these other groups that you see these a lot of these younger men even older caps cat cats you know what I'm saying yelling at the top of their lungs using a, a loud speaker you know barking back and forth getting all crazy you know a lot of things that they're doing is out of season not saying that we have not done that before but we have grown and learned to come up with a level to you know try to uh as much as possible to not even you know be in that spirit or try to even entertain uh, entertain in the, in that type of the spirit as well okay so salakia just you know is giving that out there um, i'm gonna go to the book of Ezekiel. start at the book of ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1 it says the voice said to me son of man eat what i am giving you eat this scroll then go and give it to go go and give its message to the people of israel so we're to eat this word we're to take this word in we're to learn it understand it digest it as you want to see and then go back and preach it to the people so i opened my mouth and he fed me the scroll fill your stomach with this and he said when i ate it it tasted as sweet as sweet as honey in my mouth yeah you know you start to hear the words of the lord it's sweet you know you love sweet things it's very tasteful you know you're taking it all in you're just going to keep keep eating right it says then he said son of man go to the people of israel and give them my messages what you see us doing I am not sending you to a foreign people whose language you cannot understand. No, I am sending you to people which strange. Uh, no, I am not sending you to people with strange and difficult speech. If I did, right, they will listen. Showing you how hard headed Jake is, because he said if I used to go to another people, they will listen. But if you're dealing with my people, you're dealing with Jake. He says, but the people of Israel won't listen to me to you any more than they than they listen to me. For the, for the whole lot of them are hard-hearted and stubborn. But look, I have made you an obstinate and hard-hearted as they are. Right? I have made your forehead as hard as the hardest rock. So don't be afraid of them or fear their angry looks, even though they be rebels. So even though, you know, the Lord has made us bold as a lion. Okay? When we out there on the highways and byways. And when Jake come up. You know, and, and, and they try to uh, make, uh, uh, make us fear, fear them, you know, with the hard looks and the things that they say. No, we're not in fear. You know, we don't be in fear. We're not scared of you people. We bold as a lion. But you have to know the difference between being bold as a lion. OK. And, and uh, you continue to be bold, bold as a lion. You have to be uh, you have to uh, you, you must understand of, of being uh, of using wisdom. And just being a fool. Okay, like I say, if I, if, I, if I didn't turn, if I didn't use a soft answer, I would have been a fool a few years a few years back. Okay? And would have had it got into a, a situation. If I didn't use a soft answer last night at camp, I would have been a fool. 
because we could end up getting into getting into getting into a, a, a mix. OK, but no, I use the wisdom. I apply the scriptures. So even though you see scriptures like that, you know, you got cats out there like, well, the scripture says be hard, uh, 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 make your forehead hard as a rock, you know, as they make their forehead. Yeah. OK, I see what you're saying. Right. But th th this does not mean being confrontational. You know, it doesn't mean that. Oh, they, they start acting a fool. You act a fool right with them. No. It doesn't mean it in that sort. But like I say, you got times where you got assholes that will come to the camp and take I get cursed the fuck out and tell and just be like, you know, go away, man. You know, go away. We don't want to deal with your bullshit. You don't believe what we believe. Why, why you want to bother us? OK. And it's whatever on that brother's spirit, how they want to how they operate it, you know, uh, to the best as they see fit, then, you know, that's how they operate it. I'm just giving my testimony of experiencing these different situations and using salt and, and using wisdom and seeing how applying that scriptures, how a soft answer actually does work when Jake getting an angry, emotional and an unruly spirit. OK, but you got Jake that will use the scripture right here. Ezekiel three and nine. I have made your forehead hard as the hardest rock. So don't be afraid of them. And using wisdom does not mean you're afraid. Doesn't mean you're afraid. Okay, you, it means you, you understand what's going on. Okay, and you and you you're using your mind of, okay, what would be the best scenario to do in this situation? Okay, this because it doesn't need to go farther than what it needs to go farther than. But if we was to use that same energy as he pushed, right, yesterday, it would have went down yesterday. It would have went down. Okay? It says, so don't be afraid of them or fear their, fear their angry looks, and, and even though they be rebels. Then he added, son of man, let all my words sink deep into your own heart. Listen to them carefully for yourself. Yep, it starts with yourself. Then go to your people in exile and say to them, this is what the sovereign Yahweh says. Do this whether they listen to you or not. Now, yeah, whether you people hear or forbear. We are, to, we are commanded to come to preach this word. To warn, preach, warn, edify, go into prophecy, go, go into the Holy Scriptures, go into the whole role. You know, whether it's the things that you like or not. Rebuke, correct, all that. Exhort. Okay, but I just wanted to touch on that through the spirit as if it was in my spirit. Hey, you know, I mentioned again, look, a soft answer. Uh, let's just read it one more time. Yeah, because the scriptures, is, the scriptures is beneficial to us, man. The scriptures is, is profitable unto us. The scriptures ain't profitable, profitable unto the ones, the two thirds who feel like the words of the scriptures are, are, are not, uh, doesn't profit them. Okay, verse one, it says a gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. Okay, so, hey, you just got to, got to, we don't know how it's about, we got to apply this wisdom, man. Because we're going to have more demons approaching us as it's starting to get warm out. You're going to have a lot of unruly, a lot of brute beast jakes trying to come up to the camp, start their bullshit. You know, so we just got to remain on point. Shalom.